Hi there, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies. Today's video is about the new sleazy. The new sleazy, it seems to me, is telling people that you're not sleazy. Uh, it's marketing coaches here's saying, here's how to market without being sleazy. But then they're doing it in a sleazy way. I want to read something. Uh, this was something I got. Uh, I won't say who it's from. It doesn't matter. But <clears throat> here's how it reads. Here's exactly, oh yeah, uh, he, here's exactly how to get this for sales marketing result, which I think I've changed because I uh, didn't want to name them. But here's how to you know get clients to buy without being salesy or sleazy. Watch the video below. If you want a proven, repeatable script for consistent and easy closes without sacrificing your integrity to, to get it, and without feeling salesy, grab your copy of my blank product. Uh, discover the secret phrases to awaken buyer's momentum and what to say before being quiet so the customer actually closes themselves. It should be themselves. Uh, number two, access to exactly what to say at the beginning, middle, and close right up until you take their credit card. Click below. Uh, to get yours while it's still available. There's so much shit about this that strikes me as sleazy. Again, I don't know the person who's done this. I don't know their intentions. I don't even know if they wrote this themselves. But um, you're on my YouTube channel. You want to hear my opinions. Here's my opinion. So <clears throat> here's exactly how to do this thing without being salesy or sleazy. Okay, I'm interested. I would like to have more people buy without being salesy or sleazy. Proven, repeatable script. As soon as I hear that in sales, I think sleaze. Because what do you mean proven? Proven to do what? To get people to buy? Now, if you want to say this is proven to help you get to the truth of whether or not it's a fit, I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. But if it's proven to get them to buy, there is no such thing as a proven script that gets people to buy every time. That doesn't exist. It's not real. Even if you use the script that they give. It doesn't work every time. There's no such thing as a button you can push. So A, it's a false promise, but B, the premise of the promise is that that's what we should be doing, is trying to get basically everybody to sign up because nowhere in these little bullet points is there if it's a fit, yeah? Uh, okay, so if you want a proven repeatable script for consistent and easy closes, I just don't like the word closing. That That's something I'm doing to you. I'm going to close you. I'm going to um, close the deal that you don't really have any say about it because this is something I do. You're the passive, <laughs> inactive uh, object of my ministrations with no agency on your own. I'm the one with all the agency and I will be acting and closing the deal or not. Thank you very much. Uh, it's just a very, that's a sleazy way of, um, it's objectifying. It's turning somebody into an object yeah, that you can act on. Right, without sa how did you do all of that without sac sacrificing your integrity? Really? Go on. <laughs> I'm listening. Okay, and without feeling salesy. Okay, how about this? Without being salesy. Do it without feeling salesy? Well, I suppose if you, if you do enough brainwashing and, and take some Novocaine for your soul, you won't feel salesy, salesy. But the issue is not that you feel salesy or don't. The issue is, does that person feel schmoozed and worked and sold to, that's the real issue here. Discover the secret phrases, fucking hell. Secret, really, are they so top secret? Nobody's heard of these things before. It's gonna blow my mind, words that I've never even read before, put together in some order that nobody's ever imagined. To awaken buyer's momentum. How the fuck do I know this person's a buyer yet? How do I know they actually wanna buy? How do I know it's a fit? Built into these headings are the assumption that they are already a buyer or they should be. And that the only problem is we haven't woken up the momentum inside of them. Momentum towards what? Towards the truth of figuring out if it's fit? No, towards them buying. And what to say before being quiet so the client actually closes themselves. Themselves, again. Okay. <laughs> Such, I, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I suppose it could be themselves. That's singular. Anyways, be quiet so that what? How about be quiet so they can actually decide if it's a fit? 
that's great. It's probably not a, a bad idea to shut up and give them some room to make a decision. But be quiet. Why? So that they close themselves. Selves? Selves? Please put in the comments below <laughs> which that is. But so they do it. Do what? Close. They say yes. They buy. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole agenda written through this whole thing. And there is no way to engage in a conversation with somebody else with the agenda to get them to say yes, or that's your whole agenda, and have that be in integrity, not have that be manipulative. That's the definition of manipulation, trying to get somebody to, somebody to do something, whether or not it's good for them, just because you want it and it's good for you. Okay, access to exactly what to say in the beginning, middle, and close. I'm not against that. I'm not against having some structure of what to say at different parts. That's fine enough, right? Right up until you take the credit card, excuse me? So that's the metric. You see what I'm saying? That's the metric of how do we know this worked? How is this um, script proven? Because you're gonna end up with their credit card. They're going to buy madness. Click here to get yours now while it's still available. Well, there's some scarcity that's almost certainly false. I don't see why it wouldn't be available. It's a digital thing. I mean, maybe there's some reason that they, they do it in a cyclical thing. They only release this so often. But this to me is the new sleazy. And I really, I don't mean to pick on this person as if they're the only one. I see this kind of stuff all the time. By the way, if you come across sleazy shit, please send it to me. I have a, a dark fascination with it. I'll turn it into another video to give another case study. I really do enjoy reading these at some morbid level. Um, so it's not just this person. Yeah, it really isn't them. This is so endemic. And it's the new sleazy is to say how to do these sleazy things without feeling sleazy, but it's still sleazy. Anyways, that's my rant for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check me out on Instagram at marketingforhippies. Uh, marketingforhippies.com is my website. And of course, if you like this video, share it with everybody you know. Uh, deeply appreciated. Thanks so much.